So uh, suppose I have a hash map and uh, I want to use hash map in a you know threaded environment, even multi-threaded. So what you no know, other version of hash map we can use? Uh, like uh, for the multi-thread uh, application, when we are uh, going to use a hash map, um, like uh, if any changes uh, in that uh, hash map, it will leads to concurrent modification exception. So to overcome that problem, to use a concurrent hash map instead of hash map, so it will leads uh, um, like uh, whatever the uh, changes when we are uh, running that uh, um, in the um, uh, while running of that application, that modifications uh, it will allow that concurrent hash map, and it will not throw any uh, concurrent modification exception while executing that uh, uh, flow. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. What is synchronized hash map? Uh, synchronized hash map means uh, uh, whenever uh, two or more uh, threads are trying to uh, uh, like uh, accessing that resource or uh, uh, trying to update that resource uh, like it is uh, saying uh, um, uh, 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 multiple threads having uh, uh, access to that resource at that time uh, uh, synchronized uh, mm, uh, will uh, occurs uh, one by one thread will access that resource and then uh, next thread will come and access and modify that resource so like that it it is not uh, mm, uh, creating any deadlock situation uh, while using that synchronized uh, uh, case mm -hmm. okay okay yeah. okay suppose uh, you are working on a java application and uh, you are getting out of memory error yeah uh, like uh, at that uh, time uh, we need to increase the heap size of uh, java uh, um, like uh, we have uh, uh, 512 uh, um, uh, uh, 512 mb uh, 512 um, in that memory and uh, so we need to increase that heap memory size to uh, 1024 um, then it will uh, if it is uh, not sufficient then we can increment uh, uh, up to 2048 hmm. so uh, using what will be the uh, parameters that you will do x, x. Uh, sorry parameters what will the, yeah what will be the uh, VM argument parameter that you will, you will increase. How will you increase the size from what we need to to the uh, memory uh, size, size? Yeah, like one zero two four uh, uh, memory increased uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, we have a, a statement uh, called uh, uh, JVM options. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in that one, we need to increase uh, uh, 1024 M to uh, either 2048 M uh, like that. We need to give in uh, that JVM options. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, fine. So one uh, suppose uh, we are writing string as equals to new string. Okay. Okay. So uh, yeah. in this statement, okay. So how the memory management will happen? I mean, in what will be stored in stack memory? What will be stored in heap memory? Yeah, uh, like uh, whenever we are uh, declaring a string is a, s is equal to some name, um, name is equal to uh, some value that will uh, store in that uh, heap memory. Uh, where is, uh, um, whenever we are declaring with a new uh, string, uh, new keyword, uh, then uh, that string value 
value will be stored in that uh, uh, stack memory area but uh, uh, for that uh, um, uh, it will uh, uh, pointing to a uh, some uh, uh, reference object like uh, whenever we are uh, declaring with a new keyword uh, it will has uh, some hash code value so that will be uh, pointing to that stack memory area and um, um, when we are uh, uh, trying to uh, like a uh, concatenation of that uh, 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 string value uh, that value also will point into that uh, same uh, reference and in the stack memory area okay fine fine so uh, suppose i want to create a thread okay for that uh, i can use runnable yeah okay but uh, runnable has run by third hello Yes. Yes. You there? Yes, I am here. Okay. okay. Uh, But uh, I want to see. I want to create a thread okay, using runnable. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. uh, the, but the there is a limitation of runnable because uh, it it is not returns any value. Like the run method has return type as void. Void. Right. So, what other options which we have? uh like uh, we have uh, uh, implementing uh, with uh, 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 runnable interface uh, previously we are using a thread class uh, that will have a start method and uh, um, after that uh, what are the um, drawbacks in that uh, thread class so we are implementing it from the runnable interface and um, uh, we can uh, also like uh, uh, um uh, uh create a thread uh, from the callable interface uh, so there we are uh, calling uh, uh, with a, a void uh, call method mm, instead of run method uh, we can uh, declare uh, that thread from the call method hmm. and call uh, call method has a return type feature of it sorry call method call has a no, call in the callable yeah. call yeah A single method so that can return value that's the advantage yes okay. so uh, what is load factor of a hash map or what is the theory of a, of a load factor uh like you are saying uh, uh, internal hash map no i'm asking what what is the use uh, of load factor of a hash map load factor means i'm not sure i'm not uh, uh, looking to it yeah okay how we can create a singleton class uh, like we can uh, create a singleton class uh, with a um, uh, public class with a private constructor along with that uh, we need to create a uh, public uh, with a lo- uh, uh, class name with a get instance in that one we need to check uh, uh, with uh, that uh, reference if it is uh, equal to null value then we have to create a new object for that if it is uh, already having a value then with uh, return that um, uh, that class uh, reference Uh, then we can uh, create a, a singleton class in the mm-hmm. java cl- in the java okay okay yeah okay fine so uh, suppose i have a five employee object okay okay and i want to sort by name yeah okay how uh, can sort it okay. uh, so when we are uh, selecting uh, employee table uh, select star from employee and um, no, no. Uh, i see not in the sql in core java so employee e1 equals to new employee e1 e2 equals to new employee and it has you know i have assigned a name name id i want to uh, like it, collection uh, we can okay. uh, sort it uh, uh, from the uh, tree set uh, like uh, with that uh, employee object uh, we can sort it uh, from the tree set how the tree set will work so before using in tree set we have to do some changes in the employee object 
what is that uh in the employee object you are saying yes because if you if i add employee object in tree set okay okay so how the tree set will sort in which basis like in uh, like uh, based on that uh, names uh, we need to uh, sort it um, whatever the